Hello, Lily here. Today we are starting with class 3, chapter 7 of your science textbook. The name of the chapter is Housing and Clothing. Stepping Stones. Look at the pictures given below. Name each type of house. Where these houses are found. So this is bungalow mostly found in the cities. Huts are mostly found in the villages and igloos. Igloos are mostly found in the North Pole. So let's read the chapter. We all live in our homes. Our houses are made of different types of materials. We use materials such as bricks, cement, steel and wood to build our houses. Glasses are used to make windows. Cement is used to bind the bricks of a wall. Wood is used to make doors and windows. In some houses, ceilings and floors are also made of wood. A house protects us from wind, rain, heat and cold. It also protects us from enemies and thieves. We feel happy and safe in our house. A good house a good house should have the following features. A good house should be a spacious. There should be a place for all things to be kept in an orderly manner. Windows should be present in the, in the rooms to let plenty of sunlight come in. Sunlight is a natural disinfectant material used as a germ killer. A house should be well venti venti ventilated and should allow enough fresh air to enter. Proper ventilation in the house allows good circulation of air. This allows us to breathe clean air. Windows of the house should be covered with wire mesh or netting. This helps in keeping insects such as flies and mosquitoes away from the house. A good house always has an exhaust and a good drainage system in kitchen and bathrooms. An efficient exhaust removes smoke and vapor, vapor from the kitchen and full odor from the bathrooms. A good drainage system carries away dirty water and other waste materials from kitchen and bathrooms. Thus, the house that is clean, well ventilated, has proper light and good drainage system is a good house. Cleaning the house We should keep our house clean and tidy. Here are some tips that should be kept in mind while cleaning a house. All things in the house must be dusted regularly. Floors, wash basins and bathrooms should be mopped regularly by using a disinfectant. We should use a dust-free broom and a clean mop to clean the floors. Garbage should be thrown into dustbins or garbage bins. Garbage bins or dustbins should always be kept covered. This will prevent breathing of flies and mosquitoes over them. Floors should be mopped using a disinfectant. We should always have separate wet and dry waste bins. All the dry waste such as woods, plastics, metal parts and glasses should be kept in one container. Wet waste such as fruits and vegetable peels, tea leaves and food leftovers should be kept in a separate bin. Bed sheets and curtains must be washed regularly. Carpets, sofas and curtains can be kept dust free by using vacuum cleaners. Air fresheners can be used to keep the air clean and fresh. Clothes and fibers. We need clothes to cover our body. Clothes protect us from cold, heat, wind, rain and insect bites. 
Clothes that we wear must be comfortable. Different kinds of materials are used to make clothes for different seasons. Clothes made from cotton absorb sweat. They keep us cool and comfortable during hot weather. We wear cotton clothes in the summers. Clothes made of wool and silk keep our body warm. These clothes are best suited to wear in winters. So as you can see here the picture of winter clothes and rainy day clothes. We might fall ill if we get wet in the rain. We must wear waterproof clothes over our normal clothes when we go out in rain. Umbrellas, gumboots, and raincoats are all made of waterproof materials. Fibers The materials we use to make our clothes or upholstery frames are made up of different fibers. Fibers are very thin. Thread-like strand from which cloth is made. They are used to make different types of fabrics. Fibers are broadly classified into two types, natural and man-made fibers. Natural fibers, fibers that come from either plants or animals are called natural fibers. Cotton and jute are plant fibers, while silk and wool are animal fibers. Cotton fiber is obtained from the cotton plant. It is turned into fiber and then spun into cloth. Similarly, we get jute fiber from the jute plant. So as you can see, cotton plants give us cotton t-shirts and jute plants give us jute mat. These are plant fibers that are natural fibers. Silkworms produce special fibers that can be woven into silk. We get wool from animals such as sheep. So as you can see, silkworm give us silk saris and sheep give us sweater. Animal fibers are also natural fibers. Get it right. Artificial silk is not made from fibers obtained from the silkworm. It is made from a synthetic material. Some people do not wear natural silk as the silkworms get killed before their fiber can be used. Hilar de Chardonnet was a French engineer who invented the first artificial silk. He also worked with Louis Pasteur to remove disease from cocoons of silk worms. Man-made fibers. The fibers that are produced by humans are called man-made fibers. Polyester and nylon are examples of man-made fibers. Raincoats and umbrellas that we use to protect ourselves from the rain are made of nylon. Polyester fabrics, nylon bags are many fibers. Run through. A house protects us from harsh weather, conditions, enemies, and thieves. A good house should be clean and free from germs. A good house should have enough sunlight, fresh air, wire mesh, and a good drainage system. Clothes protect us from cold, heat, wind, and rain. We wear different types of clothes at different times of the year. Fibers are of two types, natural and man-made. Silk, cotton, and wool are examples of natural fibers. Polyester and nylon are examples of man-made fibers. Track your progress. 1. Name the following. A. Fiber used to make summer clothes is cotton, fiber used to make winter clothes is wool, and fiber used to make rainy season clothes is nylon. Glossary Fibers, materials that are used to make clothes. Natural fibers, fibers that can come from either plants or animals. Man-made fibers, fibers manufactured by human beings. 
Drainage system, a system which is used to remove waste liquids from home into the down pipes. Assistant zone. A. Take the correct answer. 1. Which of the following is a natural fiber? Cotton. Cotton is an example of a band fiber. 3. Which of the following is used to bind the bricks of wall? Cement. 4. Which of the following is an example of natural disinfectant? Sunlight. 5. Which of the following helps in keeping a house clean and germ free? All of these. B. Fill in the blanks. Number 1. Windows of a house should be covered with wire mesh. 2. We should always have separate wet and dry waste bins. 3. Winter clothes are made of wool. 4. We can carry an umbrella to protect ourselves from rain. And the last one, raincoats are made of nylon. State true or false. Number 1. Polyester is a natural fiber. False. We get silk from silkworms. True. Clothes made from wool are good for summer season. False. Floors should be cleaned with disinfectant. True. Garbage bins should be left uncovered. False. And these question and answers will refer to the notebook. Question number one. Why do we need a house to live in? Answer. We need house to live in because it protects us from wind, rain, and cold. It protects us from enemies and thieves. Question number two. Why should we keep things in their proper place inside our home? Answer. We should keep things in their proper place because it makes our house look beautiful and organized. It is easy to find them when needed. It makes our house look spacious. Question number three. What would happen if no sunlight could enter our home? Answer. Sunlight is a natural disinfectant. If no sunlight enters our home, then the growth of germs increases, which may lead to various diseases. Number four. Why should the windows of a house be covered with netting? Answer. Windows of a house should be covered with netting as it helps in keeping insects such as flies and mosquitoes away from house. Question number five. How can we keep our house clean? We can keep our house clean by following certain tips. 1. All things should be dusted regularly. 2. Disinfectant should be used to clean floors, wash bases, and bathrooms. 3. Dustbins should be covered. This will prevent breeding of flies and mosquitoes. 4. Dry waste and wet waste should be kept in separate waste bins. 5. Bed sheet and curtains must be washed regularly. 6. Why are we advised to wear cotton clothes during summer? Cotton clothes absorb sweat. They keep us cool and comfortable in summer. Question number 7. What is the difference between natural and man-made fibers? Answer. Natural fibers are obtained from even plants or animals. Cotton, jute, silk and wool are natural fibers. Man-made fibers are obtained from... Humans, polyester and nylon are man-made fibers. Question number eight. What is the difference between plant and animal fibers? The answer is animal fibers are obtained from animals and insects. Silk is obtained from silkworm and wool is obtained from sheep. Plant fibers are obtained from plants. Cotton and jute are obtained from cotton and jute plants. Question number nine. Pinky lives in Kerala. She is going to Shimla on a vacation in December. Suggest the kind of clothes she should take with her to Shimla. Why do you think she needs different types of clothes in Kerala at Shimla? The answer is, Pinky should take woolen clothes to Shimla. Shimla and Kerala have different weathers. Shimla is a hill station and experiences very cold weather. Kerala experiences hot and humid weather. Question number 10. 
Umbrellas are most commonly made of nylon. Why? Answer. Umbrellas are made up of nylon because it is a waterproof fiber. Now, we will come to the worksheets. The workbook. Worksheet 1. A. Fill in the blanks. 1. Windows should be present in all the room for fresh air to enter. 2. Proper ventilate, ventilation in a house allows good circulation of air. 3. Garbage should be thrown into dustbin. 4. Curtains must be washed regularly. 5. Wood is used to make doors and windows. Tick the correct answer. Number 1. Which of the following helps in keeping the house clean and germ-free? All of these. Number 2. Sunlight is a natural disinfectant. Number 3. Which of the following fibers are used for making summer clothes? Cotton. Number 4. Silk is an example of animal fiber. Number 5. Which of the following is a man-made fiber? Polyester. Watch it number 2. Match the following. Number 1. Cotton is plant fiber. Wool is animal fiber. Nylon is man-made fiber. Summer, light-colored clothes and winter, dark-colored clothes. State whether following are true or false. Number 1. Clothes we wear should be comfortable. True. We wear cotton clothes in winter. False. Number 3. Jute is an animal fiber. False. We get silk from silkworm through and woolen clothes are worn in rainy season. This is also false. Give one word for the following. Number 1. Fiber that is used to make raincoats is nylon. It gives us wool, sheep. Fibers obtained from plants and animals are natural fibers. And fiber that absorbs sweat is cotton. The last version is Find the names of four natural fibers in the grid given below. It is silk, cotton, wool, and jute. Choose the correct answer. 1. Living in dirty house can make us ill. Sunlight keeps the house free from germs. Wire netting in windows helps in keeping insects and mosquitoes away from the house. During rains, we use clothes made from waterproof material. Answer the following questions. Number 1. Write two essential features of a good house. 1. It should be well ventilated. 2. It should have good drainage system. Number 2. Why do we need clothes? We need clothes to cover our body. They protect us from rain, heat and wind. Number 3. What are man-made fibers, knee and tune? The fiber that is produced by humans, example, nylon and polyester. And the last one is, what type of clothes we wear in winters? We wear clothes made of wool and silk as they keep our body warm during winter. So if you enjoyed my video, please do like, share and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching.